Happy Tuesday, everyone. We are glad you are along with us. It is October 29th. I'm Jennifer Palumbo along with Seth Phillips. How's it going? Oh, it's going. I was uh, getting into the groove with the American Woodcock. Did you, you saw that on, yes. on the 12 o'clock show yes. just now before we came to that on dance for us? The, although it moved its, its, <laughs> its whole body. It was like this with its head was still. I'm trying to do this. All right, hold on. I think you need to stand the, up. The chair is not <laughs> <laughs> is not working for me. No, but I, I guarantee you that's going to become the new dance craze in America. It's you called think so? The American Woodcock. Mm. So millennials, get it done for me. This is Seth's new dance, it. at least. Yes. If nobody else is going to do it. Try my best. I just need a, a funky beat. How's your day going? It's going okay. Yeah. Yes. It's Good. Tuesday. We're getting closer, inching toward Halloween. It's a nice Ooh. day before the winds of change blow in. That's right. The winds of change. Yeah. No. I, I, I am still deciding on what my actual trick or treat costume is going to be. Mainly because it's going to be raining and it's going to be windy. So you're actually going. You're really going door to door on Thursday night. Yeah. It's Halloween. Okay. That's unless unless okay. the city changes it. We are going full fledged. You know, some some communities have already. Lexington already. has not. Lexington is still That's Thursday right. from six to eight. I have mixed feelings about this. I mean, I'm kind of jealous that you know people are going trick or treating tonight, and the weather's going to be sure. great. And then on Thursday, it looks like it's you yep. know going to be a downpour and you know just nasty. I'm sure it's big but, logistics getting all of that changed. Right, but I mean, if you're like me though, and you know the parents who's may not have the costumes ready yet. Sure. Probably need those extra two days. Tuesday might be sure. a little bit early, but you know, yeah. I, I get why the communities are doing it, but I also right. understand keeping it on Halloween. Yeah, and we, and we do have that, I believe it's on our webpage, but also it is. on Facebook oh, the whole as well. Is the there. whole list of every community, what times and what day your trick or treat is gonna be on, yeah. so go check Some that out. Some of them are tonight, yeah. Yeah, exactly, okay. On today's show, uh, Pumpkin Mania is in Lexington. It's on field reporter. Toby Brown joins us live from Transylvania University, and this week's LEX 18 half off dining deal, Broussard. They're serving up food back there in the green room right now. It started. smells so good. Mm -hmm. And we are two days away from Halloween. We have been asking you, our It's On viewers, to send us your favorite costume photos. We have had some great ones that we've shared here on the show. And then we're going to pick our favorite for Thursday's show. So right. stay tuned for that. All right. Here's our costume photo of the day brought to you by Halloween Express. I love this one. Check out this Lexington couple's new spin on Ken and Barbie. Oh. Kristen Hinkle is middle-aged Barbie and David Smith is <laughs> midlife crisis Ken. Uh, this is just such a funny costume. And then the backs of their costumes are even funnier. Barbie's comes with a bottle of wine, hot flashes, lots of chocolate, Botox, and yoga pants. Ooh. And Ken's comes with a one-year membership to the Hair Club for Men by Agra and Corvette Payments. Nice. Well done. That is a great couple costume. It is. Absolutely. And I've seen some good ones, but that is a really good one. Uh, probably the best one I've seen so far this year. I love middle-aged Barbie, though. It's, just, it's perfect. And she's holding the glass of wine, too. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you really got to get into the, the spirit of it with everything. I like that. And look at the ages 40 and up, too, at the bottom. Oh, yeah. That was <laughs> Didn't even see that. Well good. done. Well, you can go to our It's on Facebook page to share your favorite costume photos. We still have a few more days to show them. And while you're there, don't forget to vote for which costumes Seth and I should wear on our Halloween show. The voting ends tomorrow. That's right. Tomorrow is your last chance. So get on there now and, and cast your votes. And I think for sure uh, Fancy Bones is still maybe in the lead, but it's very close with Alien Abduction. It, or, it, it is. It is. And, and, and yours I is, think I'm uh, still sumo wrestler, sumo but I haven't wrestler. checked today. So Okay, well if you're not keen on those three <laughs> or whatever, make sure you get on and, and go vote. It's on our It's On Facebook page. Yeah, we are looking forward to that. Absolutely. And right now, let's get a look at what's on. A smoky wedding photo in California's wine country is going Going viral. A red and smoky sunset filled the sky as Karna Roa snapped this photo over the weekend. The couple from Chicago had no idea a wildfire would be raging when they planned their wine country wedding. The smoke from the Kincaid fire was so bad, the wedding planner brought masks for safety. The couple ended up posing with those masks framed perfectly between the vines with a dark, smoky sky above. She had to be talked into it. She originally yeah. didn't want to do it. She thought it would look tacky or something. All we did was just wanted to have our dream wedding, and we did. And I think that, I mean, it's crazy. That is amazing. It, it, the, 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 the visual, you know, it looks like something out of the apocalypse, you know, because you've got all the smoke and the red kind of orangey, you know, the way the, the smoke makes the light look, and then their face masks and, are and, just... 
And I'm all about having, you know, a wedding photo that yeah. really, you know, is just something, this is something that, you know, they will have. It's unique. Right, exactly. It's something that no that one will else will have. Take them back and something that's, you know, unusual and, you know, that's, I'm it's, glad it's that they went through with it. Making uh, something good out of a, a terrible situation with it those, really those is. wildfires yeah. out there. All right, I'll take game show host with hearts of gold for 1,000. The answer is Alex Trebek. The longtime Jeopardy host made the day of a New York man with autism earlier this month. 32 year old Michael Neatner has been crushed since finding out Trebek has stage four pancreatic cancer. His mother wanted to connect the two, so she started by locating Trebek's son through the restaurant he owns. Then she followed up with the card she sent directly to the game show host, asking him to call her son. Trebek got the card and called him, but he missed Yesterday the morning, call. So Trebek left a message. Neeter's mother still refused to give up. She called Trebek's son back and explained what happened. He texted his father and Trebek called to talk to Neeter for several oh, that's minutes. that's great. It is. 79 year old Alex Trebek has been hosting Jeopardy for 35 years. He says he calls fans with special needs as often as he can. Just another reason. Alex to Trebek love him. is he is the man. The man. Yeah, that's Absolutely. great. Well, the wait is almost over. Popeye's fried chicken sandwich is returning this Sunday. <sighs> About time. Yes, the fast food chain had to stop selling the item just two weeks after it launched in August. But Popeye says the battered and breaded white meat fillet topped with pickles and mayo or spicy Cajun spread is here to stay this time. Mm. The extraordinary demand the first time around was driven by a viral social media spat between competitors, specifically Chick-fil-A, which sells a similar sandwich. Popeye's is already taking a dig at Chick-fil-A, relaunching the sandwich on a Sunday, which of course is when Chick-fil-A is closed. Yeah, okay, but... Chick-fil-A didn't have to stop selling its chicken sandwiches. Well, and I and I saw something so too. So you're said, not really on top of them, Popeyes. And that, I'm sorry. And that last year, even by being closed on Sunday, Chick-fil-A still had three times the sales well, that course, Popeye did. It's so you know, no one's ever going to outsell Chick-fil-A on anything, no. especially not chicken sandwiches. No. Well, speaking of Popeyes, Ugh. a Chattanooga man is taking his lawsuit against Popeyes Louisiana chicken to trial. In August, Craig Barr filed a lawsuit against the fast food chain for running out of their famous chicken sandwiches. Mm. Barr is asking for $5,000 in damages. He claims Popeye's engaged in false advertising and deceptive business practices. Okay. Barr also says his vehicle was damaged in a Popeye's parking lot. The trial date has been set for January 8th. I don't know how many chicken sandwiches he was ordering, but I find it hard to believe that it was $5,000 worth. Uh, yeah, I don't think, I don't think. That just sounds like a lawyer was like, hey, I need something fun to do. Let's, let's sue Popeyes. Let's sue Popeyes yeah. because we can. And I'll probably get thrown out too. Probably so. Yeah. All right, the day before you go trick or treating for candy, you can trick or treat for tacos at Taco Bell. Wednesday, the fast food restaurant will be giving away free Doritos Locos Tacos, my favorite. The giveaway <laughs> goes with its Steal a Base, Steal a Taco World Series promotion. We talked about this last we week. We sure yeah. did. Washington Nationals Trey Turner stole second base during game one of the series, hence, everyone is is getting a taco, but the time you have to get there is limited. The deal only lasts for four hours on Wednesday from 2 to 6 p.m. So after you get off the show here, you have a small window before you have to be back to do the four o'clock. Are you going for your free taco? Uh, you better believe <laughs> that I, but it's which one will I go to? I gotta, I gotta figure out the one that's the least busy between two and six. There's one right by the station. Yeah, but that one's always got people at it. Like yep. it's constantly packed, so I've got to, <laughs> I've got, to, I've got to think my strategy you, you out quite here. A few options and here, then though. I also have to figure out which Doritos Locos Taco I want. Because <laughs> there's a few of them. Yeah. There's like uh, the, the, the Cooler Ranch, and then there's the. I, think, I don't think they have a nacho one anymore. But they definitely have the Fiery, and that's the that's one. That's what that, you're going for? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm, from 2 to 6. I'm excited. I need some, some milk to calm the <laughs> stomach already. <laughs> All right, Stella Artois is releasing its first ever limited edition holiday brew. It's called Midnight Lager. The Anheuser-Busch owned Stella will unveil the seasonal beer publicly on Halloween night in the town of Sleepy Hollow, New York, dug, dubbed the most haunted town in America. Two bars get to try it for free while it will be on sale at five other locations. Then it will be released across the United States on November 4th and will be sold through the end of the year. The company says Midnight Lager contains subtle notes of, get this, Belgian <laughs> dark chocolate and freshly brewed espresso. Two things I don't want in my beer, what? chocolate and coffee. Oh, I'm so done with you now. <laughs> Yet is light bodied and has a crisp dry finish. It contains
contains 5.4% alcohol. Are you kidding me? You, will you try it and just let me know how it, how it is? No, we're going we're gonna to bring it. We're going to try it on the show, you and me. We're going to have Go some good with it. Go buy six pack, yeah. We'll, oh, we'll do yeah. That. No, that sounds <laughs> delicious. Any th anytime they put... You like the heavy beers. I do, well, and, but this one's going to be light and crisp. This one's more of like a, a lager, but it also has the, um, you know, the, the dark notes in it. So it's going to be kind of a light, dark beer, if you will. I learned so much about drinking just by working with you. I'm an expert. Yes. What can I say? Yes. I, I know my beers. Yes, he is. <laughs> well, a woman in Ohio is taking pumpkin carving to a whole new level. Check this out. Jeanette Paris turned two giant pumpkins into Rudy Giuliani oh. and the Joker. Rudy Kin weighs 277 pounds. The Joker is slightly smaller at 108 pounds. She says the masterpieces took her 12 hours to paint Whoa. and says the hardest parts were Giuliani's wide-eyed look <laughs> and finessing the Joker's signature hairstyle. Paris has been turning giant pumpkins into caricatures of celebrities and other noteworthy people since 1988. She chooses subjects who are making headlines that year. That makes sense. Yeah. So Joaquin Phoenix's the Joker. Joker. Yeah, I mean it's not quite as creepy as the Joker in the movie, but have you seen the movie? I have not yet. No, oh, I've have heard you? Nothing but good things about it. No, I haven't. I've been trying and trying and trying, and every time something happens, something out of left field. But I am really excited about this movie. So, and I mean, if it, if the Joker even looks half like that, yes, she's really it. talented. She really wow. is talented. I, I get it. All right, new emojis are out on Apple's devices, and they are more inclusive. The tech company released nearly 60 new characters for the iOS software update yesterday, which, by the way, I think my phone is actually currently going through right now. <laughs> the new group includes disability-themed emoji options like a seeing-eye dog, characters in wheelchairs, and prosthetic limbs. They also feature interracial couples and gender-neutral characters. Other new emojis include a sloth and a yawning smiley face. Apple first previewed some of the emojis this summer. I just did the update two weeks ago. There's another update that we have to do. They, they've been rolling out updates almost weekly. I, at yeah, this I feel point. like this is just it's just this new the, the, the new one that just came out was it 13? I think was the new like the big iOS update. That one's had a lot of bugs, so they've been almost weekly having yeah. to put out new ones. But I think they're also releasing small things like this. Uh, along with them. So it's probably on a schedule update at this point. Okay. Hopefully yeah. hopefully yours will be ready to go soon. 